Hey guys, it's your favorite dynamic duo of Dave and Corey who are at Zap Comics. Mine's Batman and Robin. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we want to talk about like the hot, like the comic market's on fire right now, especially the new modern stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, I, I haven't seen like this in, in a long time as far as like the newer issues popping so quickly as far as going to second and third printings and the first printings just jumping, even the second printings going up. Uh, I, I know Image is leading the way. If somebody asked you, I'd say maybe 20 years ago, answer would have been different, but 10 years ago, that Image was going to be as hot as it, as it is right now. No, I would have been like, Image isn't going to exist because all the core Image titles from the 90s um, are either gone or almost you know non-existent. It's like Cyberforce exists. Cyber, but that's not an image anymore. It's not. It's it top, isn't. It's top cow, isn't it? It is top cow, and it's free. It's free. And the uh, first few issues are first five are free. It exists, but it's not image, and it's not out there. No, but you got like Savage Dragon and Spawn, which still come out, but the, diehards buy it. It doesn't really, you know, sell like. It's a little title. I'm still waiting on the second Spawn movie. But they're supposed to do it. They've been supposed to do it since the first Spawn movie. I know, but uh, to go back to what's hot right now. Image is setting the world on fire. I mean, obviously, the no-brainer is Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. I'm still waiting for it to die down, but it hasn't. Anything early Walking Dead issues, even the newer stuff, when people are reading it and the trade ends, people want the issues after the trade, and they, they as soon as they're off the shelf, they, they almost double in price. You know, a lot of the back issues are already 6 $7 of a book that came out like three months ago, They just and they keep selling. Everything's really creator-driven right now, too. Yeah, everything's very creator-driven, and it's also this. There's also a speculation spike too, because people are waiting for the next show, next big movie. Uh, for example, Peter Panzerfaust, which was a nice little book, uh, apparently got picked up by BBC to be uh, hopefully made into a show, and all of a sudden, like number one's like over two hundred dollars now. Yeah, and it's just it's it, cool it exploded, story. and then all the other issues sold out. Um, it, it's an I, I can't believe it. I mean, Thief of Thieves, number one, is still hot because people are waiting for this show to, to get made. I don't know if it's going to get made, but it's, it's got Kirkman attached to it, yeah. and it's Walking Dead, you know, family, so people are like, oh my god, we have to, so people are jumping on it. So that, that number one still goes for $60, $70. Yeah. That's it's unbelievable. And it's got like four or five printings. Uh, the other issue is the same thing. Saga, which has no attachment to any movie, is just so hot because of the fan base for it. I mean, number one is already getting close to $100 for a number one issue, which I cannot believe. And all the other early issues, the first printings are... How many printings are there of, of Saga at this point? Well, it's on, I think there's four or five, plus they did a, a dollar, like, um, you know, image first issue. Is this even a year yet? It's not. It hasn't even been a year. It's close to a year. I think, I think it was the time last year. And it... it I, it's it's awesome. I just but I, I just can't I can't mm -hmm. believe it. Um, trade is ten dollars. Trade's nine ninety nine. Yeah. It's a quick read, and they did it with Walking Dead. Walking Dead Volume One was nine ninety nine for years, and it really, and the first six issues, you know, of Walking Dead is is a nice jump on point, it, it, and it doesn't, it ends with the thing with Shane, so it just it, you get you hooked. And Saga's mm -hmm. the same way, um, and plus you know Brian K. Vaughn, people love him from Why the Last Man. Uh, a couple other hot books: Revival by Tim mm -hmm. Seeley and. and um, I think Norton's uh, on it too. Yeah. That was supposed to get picked up by a show. I don't know, still sure if it is, but the early issues are still hot. Well, it falls in like Chew. Chew for the longest time Chew. was the next big thing to yeah. be made into a show. Recently, they said that they're not going to go through it in that way. They're still talking about it. And I heard it might be animated, which I yeah. think would work better if they do a, a cool animated thing, like kind of like they did with Max back in the day, something yeah. like that. I think that would be really cool. And even though that died down when it comes to the hype on on TV, the books are still. Yeah, we know why because people love Huge. the book. Yeah. And, and the first trade's nine ninety nine. So it makes. Mm -hmm. I think the first trade has a print run of over a hundred thousand already, which is amazing wow. for it for an image title. I mean, I, just think about the Marvel trades. They're like thirty five dollars. It's insane. And you get image. They're ten bucks. They get you hooked. And the second volumes are fifteen, which isn't even that much. You know, or thirteen dollars, which is nothing. And it, it's great. And they're good reads. You know, they're, they're creator owned. That they're uh, they're not influenced by anything except for what the creator wants to put into it. There's no no big shot telling them, oh, you have to have this, do this, or that's all your character. They can do whatever they want with them, and, and it's really... The market right now is so strong, and it's so reader-heavy, where, where 20, 30 years ago, it was so much speculation, and just, like, people buying them. Now, 90% of the people are actually reading them, and they enjoy them. Mm -hmm. I mean, to, to go into that is uh, Hawkeye, um, yeah. the, the Marvel book, Fra Fraction. Uh, Hawkeye has never sold, ever. Okay, and even when the movie came out, it's not a big deal. 
this book, the, the, I don't know how many printings the first issue I, has. I don't know. I didn't trust the book in the beginning. That was There's a couple books where I have so many titles, and I go, hey, Tom, read this. And then Tom <laughs> reads it, and he's like, you need to get this. Yeah, so it's on I fire. picked it up. In the very beginning, it had this slow kind of, you know, it, it was on the shelf. It was there. People picked it up. And then once the word got out, it, the title's just been going crazy. It's like that and a lot like what happened with Daredevil. Daredevil, Mark, too. Mark Wade's Daredevil. Right off the bat, I mean, it, Wade... I mean, Wade was coming off irredeemable and uh, uh, incorruptible, and w Wade's always been a great writer, people. But it, he was never like the writer. And all mm -hmm. of a sudden, Daredevil came out, and it just took off. And it, 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 all the printings kept selling out, selling out. Now the back issues, the early back issues, are some of them are twenty, twenty-five dollars, and and it's still set. The trades keep selling. It's so. And I, I I read the first like fifteen issues. It's so well done. The art is beautiful. The way. Did they show that he's blind and how he sees things? And uh, they, this they, came they, off of Shadowland. Yeah, it, it, and when I say Shadowland, people are gonna be like, "Oh my God, I remember Shadowland." He's like, he got a little of, black suit. Yeah, a lot of people forget Shadowland. All too. they did was they brought Punisher back from being a Frankenstein, and yeah. how they did it is he was in a panel. Frankenstein. They were like, "You guys Franken, ready?" Franken it's Frankencastle, I know, but he was a Frankenstein. Frankencastle. He was a Frankencastlestein, and he just was in the background. They were <laughs> ready to fight, and he was there. He was like, "Yeah," and then they were like, "That's him. He's back." No, but it's it's Daredevil's it's awesome. I can't recommend it enough. Yeah. Um, Dark Horse is even getting on the action with, with uh, Star Wars, which I'm sure you all know the Brian Wood uh, series, which mm -hmm. takes place between Episode Four and Five. The first issue sold out immediately. It's already going. The second print sold out before it came out. It's already going to a third print. I actually think it's going to a fourth printing already. Um, the first issue is already at like fifteen twenty dollars. There's a lot of hype about Star Wars for some reason, right? About yeah, that. I don't know why. It's strange. And then uh, another book which. Dark Horse has always been a nice little uh, company that has, like, you know, Buffy and Hellboy and BPRD and Sin City. Now they have uh, My Management, which uh, apparently Ridley Scott is attached to a project. And literally within, like, hours after that announcement, the My Management back issues went through the roof. Mm -hmm. And now that book just keeps sounding like crazy. So even Dark Horse, which has never been a really strong back issue uh, company is now with Star Wars and um, my management is now getting into the act. So now you get all these new things and, and you know, believe it or not, New 52 is still hot. Yeah. The early Batman issues, like Batman number one is uh, depends on what day, it can go between 60 and 80 bucks on eBay for a number one. It, I mean, that is insane. The first like six issues, some of them are $20, $30 a piece. And Nightwing one and four are like, that, off, like 30 bucks a piece. Anything that deals with Death of the Family. Death of the Family's hot. So even Detective, which is still a, a big seller, but not as big as the Snyder Batman title, that first issue, how it directly deals with Joker's face, that's... Yeah, it was, a, it, 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 it was like, it, it, it leveled off, but it was going for like 45, 50 bucks for a number one book that's like a year and a half old. And it, it, and it was hot when it came out. It's not, not rare. It's just that the hype is there. Yep. I mean, the... Batman 13, which is the first part of the Death of the Family, still goes between eight and ten bucks. The Batgirl 13 and Catwoman 13, they're still around the twenty dollar range because yeah. they were uh, so. Pr and the other ones are still going up. I'm sure, you know, they they, they keep selling like they consistently sell in the store. I mean, every day it, people are asking for it, people are calling for it, and it's already over. But they still buy. It. But I can't believe the early Batmans they keep on selling. Uh, um, Nightwing Four has a very low print run. That's going for like twenty, thirty dollars. Mm. Nightwing One's like like thirty bucks, and that keeps selling. And going back to Dark Horse, even some of the licenses. I mean, licenses are really keeping them around, especially having Star Wars right now. As long as they have it at this point, and the back issues, like you said. But even the Zelda Historia doesn't really fit as a comic. But even publishing that nice hardcover book, that I mean. Flew off the shelves immediately. Yeah, they they printed it's four hundred thousand everywhere. Four hundred thousand, and they sold out of it. And that's a thirty five dollar book. Yeah, it's gonna be the number one selling book of the year if you go by price point, which mm -hmm. is awesome because it opens up the door for other projects. I uh, personally, I really want them to do a Castlevania or a um, Fester's Quest, if, <laughs> <laughs> or Metroid. If they make those, I'll, okay. I'll be in, in in heaven or yeah. you know Chrono Trigger. Any, it, it opens up the whole uh, door to anything, even mm -hmm. Mario, if they can get that. I mean, it's 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 awesome. You know, but image. You know, as far as a big bubble right now, image is the biggest one. Yeah. I mean, anything new image. I mean, even the snapshot by Andy Diggle and Jock came out. Mm -hmm. That's already going for like ten dollars, and it just came out like I don't think even a month ago. It, it, it just it's it's awesome. It, the market's healthy, and I hope it, it doesn't get over speculated on. But I don't know if it's going to because the print run of books now is lower than it ever has been, and uh, it's cool to be into comics now. Yeah. And 
people come in for first printings now. They do, and it's great. And I, I hope it stays this way. And um, even like Marvel Now, which is still relatively new, all new X Men. The first few issues, they're, they're already on yeah. second and third printings, and and they're 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 going for premium. They're going for like six to eight bucks on a couple of them already. I mean, I'm sure it's going to happen with some of these other uh, Marvel Now stuff once the, once the dust settles. You know, some of the early Avengers. Uh, Deadpool's always hot. I mean, dead, oh, they're all going to second and third printing. So, and it came out so rapidly, you never know. Yeah, you don't know. You never know. So, but uh, yeah, the market's hot, so it can change. But as of right now, you know, like I said, image leads the way, and um, it's just still going strong. So, we have a lot of them in stock here. Some we don't because they're hot. But you know, if you if you really want to know what the market is, just go to eBay and just see what they sell for. Or come to Zap Comics, and we'll just tell you. Yeah, I'm there. I'm, there. You can I'm here hang too. Out with us. He's got a Zap Comics T-shirt on t-shirt from zap comics that's right you bought it here before you worked here i did that's that's how much of a diehard you are i'm bruce willis I'm not. <laughs> bye guys see you soon <laughs>